electrical listeners of the gaming community, I do so hope that you're having the finest of evenings and are ready to kick back, relax with the finest of treats, and kick some tiny buns. Welcome one and welcome all to another episode of Survival of the Crafters. I am your host, Ian Kelly, right in front of you, little scarfy man with the uh, maroon Schwetter, Schwetter. Uh, so today we're going to go over a couple things as usual, and then we are going to go... Uh, first things first, uh, we have a, another new member to the realm, <clears throat> so where am I going? Okay, and, uh, we're gonna check out the little house that they built, uh, by the original mob spawner, if you guys remember where that's at, so, uh, I would have to climb that way, yeah, I would have to climb th the, the old place, and we're going to go up right near the old mob spawner is where they uh, set their original foot at. And their name is Streaky Fall. I know, it's kind of fun to say, right? Streaky Fall. So, <clears throat> they've been here for a couple days now. And uh, we figured it was time to check out their home. As they've been in a couple times now. Uh, also, uh, one of the things that we did not go, what is going on right here? One of the things that we did not, ah, I'm just having a hard time here. How about I just climb this mountain over here? We're not going to take the original way through. Just no. So instead, we're going to go through the mine and then up the hill. I know I'm taking the long way around. You guys are like, what the heck is he smoking right now? But, uh, yeah, we're taking the trail along the road here. <clears throat> um, some of the things that we did inside of the last episode or two, which you may have missed, is we named the town, finally. No, we're not calling it the capital. But we did name the town, and we named it Mamalon. I know, when you say it, it's very fun. You can say it back in your head. Say it again. Mamalon. Oh, and there goes Mr. Destroyer just riding up behind us, just... Checking out our sweet buns on the way up. Fixed my textures. Oh, that's pretty exciting. Good job for fixing textures. Bravo, here's my electric clap. Uh, that was very legit. <clears throat> so we're still traveling a little bit because I'm taking a long way through. We, I know, we need to create a little bit better of a way to get over there. But it is across this giant field that Miss Destroyer has uh, created as a field and a waterfall. So you got that waterfall chilling from the sky with some falls going down. Let's see if I can make that. Ah! Excellent. So what she did was create this magnificent giant farm that's going on at the top of our area here. And then there's a pumpkin farm right next to it. I don't know what this little open area is. I guess it's just a park that she's creating in the middle. So, uh, we got lots and lots of crops being, uh, wrapped up and grown and all that fancy stuff. And from right here, you can see that's where they built their house, which is right next to the original mob spawner in which we go back and forth still now. And, uh, that mob spawner, what the? They look so uncomfortable. Imagine sleeping there for a night. Oh, geez. So, uh... <laughs> But this is where the original mob spawner was, if you guys remember. I even left the torches for it. And right next door, which we have this wonderful little lake that they built, this is the den of Streaky's Crib. So say it fast with me as we enter the Streaky Crib of... Okay, so they got... Looks like spruce bushes all along the outside here. Very neat. Mixed in with the wood going up and down. Very fancy. We got the uh, dark wood along the bottom, along with the jungle wood on the sides, which, okay. It's kind of like a mobile home thing. <laughs> you know, when you get inside of an RV and you know you don't have enough space to lay down a table, you might as well make your chair a table. <laughs> so uh, we turn around. He's got some stone slabs for some seats. Very nice. Uh, maybe iron or something as going... Quite white wool oh very good the carpet that's going on the top he's got the lights underneath that make the wool shine from the underneath and make your pants light up so that's very neat <laughs> and we got uh one two three four wonderful furnaces going on right there 
we had, <laughs> it's like that American Dagon thing where it's like, we got eight burners. Wow, you got a lot of burners. And then they're like, how many burners do you have? We got 16 burners. <laughs> oh, shit, that's a lot of burners. <laughs> I know, I couldn't, I couldn't say it all. So instead, I'll just make this chair into a table. <laughs> make them all into tables. See if he notices. He comes back home and he's like, who's turned my chairs into tables? Who did this? I'm going to put up a rule outside of my house that says, don't turn my chairs into tables. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Okay, now we got... <clears throat> So we came up from down here, very nice. I love the uh, spruce staircase going on right there. And we turned to the left, <clears throat> which is... Okay. Well, the opinion of Miss Destroyer has been loudly voiced. <laughs> and we look down this hallway right here. We got uh, a couple falls on the right, on the left. I am a big fan of the falls. I enjoy it very much, very fancy. And uh, more chairs and that turn into tables. Very nice, you know. You cater to everybody's needs. <laughs> you know, instead of having to sit down, if you ever went inside of a restaurant was a waiter, you'd realize some people come in wheelchairs, so instead they just roll them into the table like so. And they can eat there. Instead of, you know, rolling up to the chair and going, Oh, shit! How do I turn around? And then they got to stand up to turn around. So... This person is catering to the handicapped, which is very nice of them. Very cool. Uh, then we go up here, which we look down, and we have a wonderful tunnel, which I'm actually kind of scared of, and I have to crouch around. It's actually very, uh, very nicely designed, very cool work on the upside-down staircase and everything going on here. And it's actually really neat seeing the deep pool, but I have a problem because I don't see myself getting out. I mean, maybe I could go underneath, I'm assuming that's what I'm supposed to do. But if you fall off the side, you just... Or what if, you know, your controller just gets numb-locked and you just keep running even though you told it to stop? That would be very dangerous for someone like me. But hopefully they are very careful instead of what they're doing. Okay, now we got over here and they've placed bookcases along with a potted spruce tree. Very nice. And they are really into this spruce growing everywhere, which... I'm personally a fan of, so I like it a lot. Um, they kept the natural look of the regular stone right here. Maybe they... I, I guess this is one of the few things that I have inside of this one. I, I like how it's a wall because nobody wants to fall out, but nobody wants to fall in there. So I think a wooden fence would have actually done pretty good there, but to each his own, Streaky. You're still in my realm and you're still in my book. Good designs. Good designs. So, uh, we are going to move on to number two, home in the house of parades. <laughs> Wait, the parade of homes. There we go. So, I am currently the parade of homes, and uh, I put flags outside that says, you have not been hired for the parade of homes. <laughs> Actually, uh, Streaky, my approval. Only problem, you don't have a bathroom. But I don't have a bathroom, so... Pfft. I guess I got no room to talk there. All right, heading back to our uh, base camp, to uh, Mamalon. Yes, I know, you're, you're still getting used to it, and you're like, what's a Mamalon? Well, that's something you can't know. <laughs> Maybe if you reach uh, episode 400 and you've actually watched all 400, think of that achievement, right? And uh, you get all the way down there, and then I give you a link. Actually, I give you a survey and questionnaire. You have to get 9 out of 10 questions, right? Uh -huh. Make it a real thing. <laughs> it's like the most worst thing you could possibly do. So it's a survey, and if you can answer all 9 out of 10 questions, I'll put your Minecraft house in my parade of homes. <laughs> Next stop, we got Krabby's House, Mustachio, version 2.0. So we come across this uh, this pathway right here, right? And I love the gravel. I love the stone. I love the grass. I love the dirt. And oh, that's pretty much and the, uh, the pathway. 
And I think that's the pumpkin that I placed there. No, that's the pumpkin he placed there. But he didn't get my second pumpkin. <laughs> okay. So we enter inside of the beginning, and overall, it looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, on the left side, we have Bella the dog, which is currently on the loose. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Woo! I got lightheaded all of a sudden. It just floated up to me, and... Hold on, guys. I am fi- Whoa. I know you're like, dude, this guy is totally high right now, but it's not the case. Not yet. Hold on. <laughs> Woo! My goodness. Okay. Now, you guys just went through an episode with me, and we're still experiencing it. Hold on. My head <laughs> got so light just now. I know you're like, dude, this guy must be old. Right? But, whoa. Whew. I couldn't even play just now. You guys are like, dude, he's not even playing right now. That's because I don't edit the videos because I want you to feel what I'm feeling. I want you to go through these emotions, these feelings, these... Hold on. <laughs> what's wrong? Tell me what's wrong. Okay. Another light-headed spell just came over me. Now we're going to continue on. Mustachio, this is what your house has done to me. Okay. We were just so excited to talk about that dog, how it's not home right now, and it's out somewhere else. <laughs> it's downstairs. It just gave me a hot flash or something, you know? So, whoa. I hope that's going over. We've got a light that is... Okay, I'm going to speak. Hold on. I'm going to speak a little bit softer here so you guys can experience this with me, okay? So we got this light that is right here, and it's glowing, and it's just, it's bright. It's a bright, bright orange and yellow light, and it's very fancy. So this has uh, changed uh, quite dramatically since the last time we gave it the uh, old Grave Stachio review. And uh, we come across this tree on the right side, which is a dark oak, and he has jungle wood going around it. And, you know, my favorite part is this. It just stops right here. No tree house whatsoever, mustachio, nothing. It just stops right here. So, you know, I think it's meant for a lookout to, to check out the dog that ran away from home. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not too positive. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to help you out, Mustachio. So that way if you want to run and jump and this is meant for a platform, now you can actually jump, you know? So let's get this out of the way and this out of the way. And now you can have a running start and leap off the way that you've always really wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got the uh the garden that's right that's to the to the right of it. And I think it's really cool too. It's a little bit cooler when it's actually grown wheat, but I think Mr. Stroyer steals it in the night. No, I do, but he, <laughs> he replaced it with potatoes, actually. So uh, then we got Welcome to the Crab Hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know it's like a, an inside joke for him that he doesn't want to tell anyone in the realm, but calling it the Crab Hole it really <laughs> makes me not want to visit this place. <laughs> <laughs> it could just mean so many different things. So we're going to enter it, and we're going to spray ourselves down. Hold on. This is how we spray ourselves down. Oh, can we get a third person? For, okay, let me get a... Is there, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, you can't do it. Okay, his head's just regular. Okay, so we're going to enter this crab hole. Uh, a little bit scared, you know, that pumpkin that I placed there. Mustachio, perfect. <laughs> So, <clears throat> we got more of this stuff going on there. We got some trees. We got some plants. Some color is very good. Uh, love how the... the hey, no, I'm, I'm giving this my Parade of Homes tours, okay? And if he's not done with the house, that's his fault. He'll, he'll get another turn on Parade of Homes number three. So, <clears throat> we're going to enter the door right here. He's got some... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
there's a lot of different textures going on right there. It's it's a pretty cool design. Uh, there's I don't know what he was thinking because there's floor missing. Like who's gonna walk inside of here? Oops, tripped. Oops, tripped. Oops, I tripped. You really gotta watch your footing there. This is what happens when you have crabs living in your hole. They just eat the floor. <laughs> So then we got on the right side over here a fire. I know it's a beautiful fire too. Um I should I should add some steam coming. Oh. I stand corrected just now. Okay. Those confusion signs confuse the crap out of me. I thought it was going to be steam wiggling up, you know, but it's these little circular things. Okay. So he's got a bunk bed. <laughs> It's supposed to, obviously, but you're not supposed to press it. What? It's supposed to look like it's part of the bunk bed. I don't know. Come on. I'm just not sure where it's going with this. <laughs> oh my god. That's the most dangerous bunk bed I have ever seen. You're like laying there, looking up, going, Ah, oh, I'm gonna have a good night's sleep, because it's got kind of a bunk bed feel to it, right? And then some dick comes along. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the chest is falling on me in my sleep. It's glued on. Oh, it's, the chest is glued on with soup. Don't leave it like that. Oh, uh, he's gonna come in and be like, <laughs> <laughs> I should, oh, check this out. I'm gonna so do this right now. He's not gonna see me do it, right? All right, where is he at? If he comes online, then I'll uh, I'll hide. Do I have a sign? I need a sign. Okay, I got I gotta build a sign real quick. You guys are like, what's this man planning right now? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> he has crafting tables in his house. Does he? Oh yeah, but I need a sign. Oh, I have sticks. I have these. I I need one more of those. Okay, last one. Yes, yes, okay, now that he has the crafting table. He'll never know what's going to hit him until he comes back. It's going to be, where is this thing? There it is, okay. I missed it, it was like right in front of me. You okay. need the, do your chest pink? Yeah. I need to make the actual item piece pink, but the ender chest is pink currently. I need to I update the actual texture. Yeah, I'm I'm actually gonna be changing everything Wait, up in textures. Look what? On top of it? No, on top of the. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be updating everything to 64 bit instead of 32. I had a choice to either downgrade or upgrade, and I figured, hey, I'm gonna man up and make an upgrade. What was I doing? I need. <laughs> okay, yeah, I had these, and he's not logged in. So, let's go ahead. Keep the door open, and then post. Right? Let's, let's hold on. Pika, boo I posted, oh, okay, I'd have to go to the very first one. Very first one, okay. Pika, boo Pika, boo Mustachio. Okay, well, he doesn't need the O. Peekaboo Mustachio. This sign has been... Has been here for three weeks. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll strip him out, right? Because he's been around for that long. Peekaboo Mustachio. This sign has been here for three weeks. Hold on. Okay, I gotta kill that. And I had I needed time to think. It's sad to know you ignored this sign. Bad things are yet to come. He'll never know. Because <laughs> watch. 
Now everything is closed. His bunk bed, he'll go, he'll go, like, who did this to my bunk bed? Actually, I'll do that, because that, that seems like there's an actual door there. He'll be like, hmm, my bunk bed's nice, let me go to bed. Yeah, but he's going to obviously realize that it's not that way. No, no, yes, he no, he I won't. Would. If it's your house, of course you're going to He's realize. not, he's not. He's going to think it's a door. He's not going to think anybody came in. He'll probably watch this episode before he realizes that it's been there for three weeks. <laughs> okay, so let's continue on with the Parade of Homes here. And, uh, you know, we look over here, which is the very middle as, as soon as you enter the door. And you creep up slowly and you're like, that's cool. But you don't think about what's actually in the fountain. Did you like how I creeped up cl slow and closely? So he's got an underground layer going on. Oh, that would have been cool if he had an upper ground layer. Like there's two ladders, one right there and one right there or something. You know? No? All right, whatever. So we're going to jump down there. We're going to bounce on the slime. Super cool. He's got that pretty nifty going on down there. And to the left-hand side, we have an enchantment room with a lot of lava on the bottom. And uh, he's gone for a spruce look here, too, with a random end light. You know, there's two of them. I, I need to get through here. Okay, he's got a couple random end lights, which is pretty nifty, pretty cool. And uh, the other side, he's got a little wooden stone. Okay. So he... Uh, I'm getting confused by all this. Okay. What is this? Oh, that sneaky man. Thought we wouldn't see that. He has other buttons over there, so let's see what is going on over here. What is this? Is it? Oh, hold on. Maybe. I, I you know, I pressed the buttons. That's... Oh, good. Ow! I'm, I'm not pleased with that door at the moment. Okay. Uh, we got the treasure chests over there. And uh, then we look straight to the front. Very exciting. Very exciting. He's got a vending machine on the right-hand side along with a couple chests, which I'm... Okay. So the vending machine must mean that it's open. Okay. We'll leave it like that. A uh, little cauldron on the right, a couple flowers on the inside. He's got uh, his own little personal bank vault system going to where he puts... I think he puts it just inside of here. What am I supposed to read up there? There's some random frowny face. Oh, that's... Mr. Destroyer, how dare you? Oh, it's because... Dasmo, okay. So, this is what we've done. My tour through Crabber's house right now has been very exciting. We went through some stressful times together earlier in this episode. Okay, he's got a button to go back up. Ah, very good. So, that's Mick Crabber's current house. Very neat. Some redstone going on there. Uh, and we can't do Miss Destroyer's house, but we can do... We can do uh, Light Trail's little place. Not much has changed. It's very cozy, very tiny. It's got a cat in the window. We go downstairs. You got a vending machine. It leads to a very uh, healthy room inside of there. You turn to the right. Got my favorite part. They look so happy. Okay, so then we look to the right and around the corner here. You got a very... You know, pretty nice, tidy bedroom. He's got some uh, TNT inside of there. We always like looking through people's stuff. And uh, he's got some frosty and ice and all that fun stuff. So my man's packing. Uh, then we got a vacant house over here. It's going to be in the Parade of Homes because, you know, vacant houses deserve medals. So on the outside, you got a flat rooftop of the top. You got an entrance going on right there. It closes the doors. Furnace crafting table. Some lights on the top. We got some stone henge work going on. Uh, downstairs, we got an open door. Bunch of furnaces because you. 
are going to burn the crap out of your freaking vending machine and bookshelf right between these furnishes. Oh, my goodness. So let's close the doors there. Uh, we've burned our fingers plenty of times. Uh, we got a staircase, not staircase, but ladder. We got the upper half. There it is. Bouncing off. Get, get us out of here. And we get out of here. Apparently we can't leave. Darn it. And then we have the hotel. Apparently, or what's going on here? Hey. Well, I'm not going into the hotel. I'm just saying that it did not make it on our parade of homes. <laughs> it didn't. It wasn't a home. It's, it's a hotel, so I'm not going to show off a hotel because, you know, some people, it's like RV moving or something like that. And, uh -huh, I have to show off Ace's parade of homes. Yeah, but I can't do yours yet. It's, uh, do you want me to show it so far? Okay. So we are going down here at the current moment. Apparently this episode is going to be slightly longer than other episodes, but it's okay to have a slightly longer episode and let you guys listen to me for a bit longer. Because, uh, you know, episodes are supposed to vary and they're not supposed to, you know, be three minutes long every single episode. You're supposed to feel the live shows, even though I run out of time so many different times. <laughs> and then I make another episode right afterwards. It's because I'm trying to deliver content frequent frequently. That's what I'm told by all the YouTubers and gamers out there. I always make some... Okay, so I totally forgot about this house. So... This is Edge and Nolmer's uh, particular place. He's built a keep on the uh, outside. Maybe that's a church going on over there. This is where his throne room is. We're not going to go through the entire castle. So he's got some lovely prismarine going on there, some bathroom tile. This is his bathroom, so it's actually pretty cool. You guys are like, no, it's a throne room. Even he says, no, it's a throne room, but it's not. This is his bathroom, and the throne meaning toilet, or toileton, or the Dr. Toileton. What? It's a toilet? It's not nice to say it's a toilet? Yeah. That's what it is, it's a toilet. So then <laughs> we go over here, he's got a beautiful statue. Uh, I think that's a king statue with a hammer. Yeah, got to be a hammer. Beautiful wood turning into firewood. Oh, that's very nice. And we got uh, Edgen Nulmer, Nulmer's Keep. Edgen is Dasmo. So just in case you guys ever hear me saying that, that is his name. And what a beautiful bedroom he has got going on down here. Now, what he doesn't know, let's take a look around us here. Yeah. Yeah, what he doesn't know is I'm going to sleep. Oh, I'm going to sleep in his bed. Okay, instead, I'm going to throw a carrot on his bed. And I'll even give him a couple walls. And then he'll come inside of this room and he'll be like, what kind of man has thrown carrots in my bed? And you won't know that it was me. Until you watch the episode. That would be so funny. <laughs> so over here he has... Um, a little zombie guy who's caged in, which I'm assuming he's going to make into a villager. He's got a stable somewhere around here, which I believe the stables is... Uh, I thought it was right over here. And uh, that's another beautiful statue. So we actually align the entire road... Uh, with statues. He made the original one, which was right here, and we collabed on the other three that I believe are out here. And we put lights all along this road right here. Another light, another light, another statue. This guy's got no weapons, so he's actually a fist fighter, like street fighter. He a Dukin's people. So then on the left-hand side, we got a little pier going out with a treasure chest. Who puts treasure on their pier? Well, we do. Well, maybe we could have put the chest right there. Yeah, that might be pretty cool. Keep the chest hidden from the people. So then we got the path right here, which uh, takes us further down. Uh, we got some lights, more lights right there. This guy's got a bow. I mean, he's serious with a bow and no arrows. And then we got a guy with an axe, a, a two-handed axe and a shield. 
He, this guy is able to swing around a two-handed axe with one arm. Now, that's serious business right there. We look to the left, and we got the train that goes all the way down to it. We spent a couple episodes making that so far. Uh, another statue on the left here, and this guy's holding a fork. He's holding a pitchfork, and I think there was actually supposed to be a glowstone right there. So we're going to help that out. Some more lights, and this is the... En Hmm. This is the entrance to our lovely village at the particular moment. <gasps> Welcome to Marmalon. I know, it's beautiful. And then when you're leaving, it says, You're now leaving Marmalon. It's very cool. And uh, we got two more houses on the list here. Let's try and rush over to them, because I don't want to keep you guys any longer. I know, I know. I'm freaking entertaining. I'm not. But some people might seem to think I'm entertaining, and that's why I do what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, uh, you guys didn't see that, right? I'm going to go ahead and sneak around, you guys. Okay, here's the farm. Ace's house is way on the other side of that hill. Let's get over there and get to business. Shaw. Sure. Uh, we could have went over to Kevin's house on our way home, but we did not. Kevin, what? So, it, oh, Kevin's house is now a barn. So it's a converted uh, parade of homes house. You know, so it's a parade of barns. Now that's exciting. Okay, we got over here, which is uh, Blood Ace. We call him Ace, but his name's actually Blood. I guess nobody really ever thought about that because, you know, Blood doesn't stand out to us. It, Ace does. I don't know. So uh, Ace's house is right here, this little patio. He, it's, what is that? Lineback Junior. Lineback Senior. And Ezlo. Very nice. Okay, so this is his whole house, just the, uh, just the horses. So that was a pretty nice place. <laughs> uh, I could enter through there, but I'm not going to enter through there. Instead, I'm going to walk up this path. Dude, I'm already kind of sick of your place, man. It's got spiders all over it. Just weird. I'm just kidding. I know you know. I know you know I'm playing. So we got some lovely stone uh, staircase going up here. A little red flower that he can pick for himself each time that he enters. We got a pre-open door. So he actually did his homework, realizing today was the parade of homes. And he just left the door open. We didn't have to find a key, nothing like that. So uh, here we are in a very wooden room. I feel like I'm in one of those old rustic huts right now. But you just kind of look, look, look around you. Maybe like one of those beach huts because this much wood almost makes it look like it's brown, really dark brown hay. So it doesn't give it a little unique look to it. Uh, he's got the spruce... Uh, sporadically sponge around and we are going to go down into his dungeon pit of stone floor all right now i actually like this a lot uh i like this every single t cake on me who's eating cake off of somebody else miss destroyer is letting people eat cake off of her <laughs> no. enjoy this cake on me I know what that means. Oh <laughs> so, thanks to whoever left this. I'm going to ride on this one, take it down and say grave. Sucker. Okay, so, yeah, I really like this desk, actually. Uh, it was one of, the, one of the first things that I saw Ace build, and I thought it was really cool, and I wanted to know how he made his map posted up there. So I never actually figured that out, but I uh, come to figure... Maps? Huh. Interesting. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we got the bookcase that's right up top here. A little room that, you know, I'm thinking this is the bathroom. So I'm going to help him out right here. And that's the toilet. You know? 
Maybe I could have water flowing down it so it's natural, naturally always flushing. I don't know. So then he's got a uh, little uh, to the nether spawn right there. A couple villagers. He's been hiding away from us. One of the villagers. Oh, he's got the girl right in front of the stovetop where she should be. Cooking meals for her man who's over there. Hey, dude, let me help you out. Let me make her walk to, walk further to you. A woman needs to work for her man. Look at him. That mustachio. It should have been in Mustachio's place. And you're very clean. Okay. So we got a little dispenser right here. Very cool. Uh, out here. This is his little dock that he's got going on. Rain's hitting the water. It's actually a really nice time for it. He does have a good view of Mr. Stroyer's house over there. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that, okay? So he's got a bunch of chests uh, with an enchanting room right next door. So that's kind of cool. He's got a bunch of chests, which is always really weird to me because, uh, you know, it's just one block square and you have to reach behind these things. I want to click. Oh, no. What? Give it back. How dare you? So I'm going to put on one of these a carrot. Did he have a carrot on any of them? I wonder if he'll ever look at it and go, did I put that carrot there? <laughs> I think that'll be the funniest. Then he's got a trap door down there. I did not see this before. Leading to... Wow. That's a good one. Leading nowhere. I think this is the... the that. Oh, I know where that is. You know, for those people who kidnap people and bring them down there. <laughs> that's where you keep your kidnapped people excellent good job ace uh yeah i think that's that's ace's spot and one of the places that i did not go over that uh we will be oh i don't want to leave all of his gates open i hate when that happens to me so i have to go up top here okay Woo! did we make it good one of the places we did not make it to, he's going to be like, who shut my door, is uh, Sektretz, who was in the realm for a short period of time. I believe that was his name. And uh, he, his did not make it because I didn't want to travel over there. But I will be going over the home that he uh, currently had made up to a certain point. Burn! Stop burning the entire forest! This is uh, Ace's old house. You know, we have made this episode really long for your viewing and listening pleasure, but alas, I'm going to stand on this brick and end it. I know, I know. I know, I know. Mrs. Stroyer got really upset right now, so I'm actually going to give you guys another minute while I look at her place. It's been like an hour-long episode. It's gonna, This, this episode is going to take me like three hours to upload onto YouTube. Jeez. So we take a look already from the outside right here, and uh, we got sand all over the place. I don't know if there was sand here before. So she actually planted all this sand herself, hand sanded, right? Uh, she's got a, um, a staircase right here that's a little uneven. You know, I wanted to really climb it, but... <laughs> and then right here, we got some very pretty in pink towers going from the bottom to the top with some uh, sandstone some chisel sandstone some uh, dark brick which is the nether brick and some pink wool and ever if you guys did not know if you read up the uh the symbols that are going on on that tower right now the symbols actually say in another language which is the ancient 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 version of uh swedish latin greek right it's 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 all of those languages combined before we had languages and what it says is get out <laughs> i know you guys are like what that says get out it's way too big no it's got it it's get out so uh here we are and we have entered just run through yeah okay so we're gonna give a a speed run through her place you ready for this I'm ready for this.
There we go. So we are going to run through this giant hallway. We're going to run down the stairs because that's what she's got. She's got a hallway that's really open to a really big room. So that's pretty much the place. <laughs> Since she wanted me to speed run, that's the place I would have talked some poop or something else if I had the opportunity. But in fact, I'm whipped and can't do that. I know. You're like, stop listening to him now. Well, you know, that's your choice. That's your choice. But you can only sleep at night. <laughs> this won't help you sleep at night if you try and stop listening to me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to our music gaming channel as we have a ton more music videos, news, and sick forms of awesome entertainment for your listening and pleasuring body parts. To one and to all, if you enjoy the music at the beginning or at the end of the episode, feel free to like and subscribe our official website, which is www dot the stillwinter dot o r g as we give out free music once a month to our subscribers and of course videos and all that fun stuff come along too uh thank you so much for watching stillwinter ian i'm gonna punch and i'm gonna hit at the same time out wait he isn't dead shy of surprise there's a gun to your head and death in his eyes but you can do your shit too you can do it body slam superstar shia labeouf to your knees and catch your breath you're finally safe from Shia LaBeouf <laughs>